It's the most horrific case of my career. Some new gruesome details coming out in the case against a father accused of executing his three children. And a good evening to you on this Friday. I'm Kyle Linsky. I'm Paula Toady. The case against the local man accused of executing his three sons enters a new phase. Chad Dorman made his first court appearance after being indicted for the murders. Now, Dorman faces the possibility of the death penalty. Local 12's Christian Hauser was inside the courtroom for that hearing today and shows us what the prosecutor said about seeking the ultimate punishment. Chad Dorman pled not guilty to the 21 counts he's facing. He's charged with nine counts of aggravated murder. He's charged with three counts for each boy's murder because each count has a separate aggravating circumstance. Now that means that Dorman would be eligible for the death penalty if convicted. County Prosecutor Mark Ticolve says that he will aggressively pursue the death penalty in this case. Chikovi asked the judge that Dorman be held without bond, explaining how investigators believe the killings happened. Jacoby says Dorman, quote, slaughtered his three boys, adding each boy was shot at least one time in the head. Jacoby then talked about how deputies say Dorman killed seven-year-old Clayton. The prosecutor says that the boy watched his dad kill four-year-old Hunter and then ran out of the house. Clayton was able to make it about 300 feet before Dorman caught up and shot him in the back. The prosecutor says that Dorman then shot the boy in the head from close range. I asked Colby about going over those graphic details in the hearing. The important thing is uh, that the court have an understanding of, of the brutality of this event where this man uh, slaughtered his three little boys. Dorman had two public defenders next to him, one from the county and one from the state office. They did not contest the new bond request by the prosecutor, so Dorman will remain locked up for the duration of the court proceedings. Now, he's due back here at Claremont County Common Pleas Court on July 5th for a pretrial. In Batavia, I'm Christian Hauser. And services for Clayton, Hunter, and Chase Dorman will take place on Monday. A visitation will be held from 4 until 8 at First Baptist Church of Glen Estee on Old State Route 74. That's going to be followed by that celebration of life service happening at 8 o'clock. And those who go are encouraged to wear bright colors. The family is asking for donations to the New Richmond Youth Sports Association for a baseball field to be built in those boys' honor.